Hello again, and welcome to Media War Stories, behind the scenes tales from the front lines of the media. I'm your host, Tom Curley. How are you today? I know I am having a good time, uh, and the show has <laughs> only just started, so let's bring in our co-partner in crime here, Mr. Gary Armstrong, veteran TV reporter. See, it says it right there, right there on the lower yes, third, so you know it's that it's spelled correctly. Be- and it's spelled correctly. Gary, how the hell are you today? <laughs> oh, fine. I'm just sort of uh, <clears throat> caught betwixt and between. Um, we were talking just before going on the air um, about the former president holding a news conference, and um, everyone is covering it, you told me. And I thought yeah, well, we had reached, why well, I say we, we were talking about the people who run the TV stations and the cable stations, that they were not going to give him free advertising or what amounts to free advertising. This, this yeah, is not good. And they're, and they're still doing I'm ready it. to. This is, no, this is. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready to get our militia to go after these people. Yeah, 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 right, right. So you know, before, before we get into, oh, it's, it is weird. Yes. Uh, God bless Tim Waltz. He finally, they finally figured it out. Weird. That's all you need to say. Yeah. These people are weird, and they are. They're mega. They're mega weird. <laughs> they're, and the beauty of it is, is that you can't fight against that. You knew that that we had won. That Waltz, that the the Harris campaign had won, when yeah. their response was, "What? We're, we're not weird. We're not weird. You're weird. You're the weird <laughs> one. We're not weird." I mean, it's they, they have degenerated to Pee Wee Herman level. Uh, yes. uh, I know what yes. I am. What are you? You know, everything you say bounces off. I'm rubber and you're glue. Everything you say bounces off me. It's next to you. Right. Um, oh, my God. Uh, 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 Moskowitz, Jared Moskowitz. Well, while you were thinking, I, my, I emailed my two younger brothers who, as you know, live in Northfield, Minnesota. I wanted to get their take on, on Waltz. And they had nothing but good things to say. And they said, yeah, he yeah. doesn't do any clown stuff. I hope that doesn't count against him. So, you know, yeah, he's yeah. within within my family. Yeah. He's getting positive votes for not being weird. Yeah. So I yeah. wonder how that um, will hold up. Not not weird people against weird people. You know, J, uh, J, uh, Jared Moskowitz um, uh, today, he was uh, giving an interview on uh, the Midas Touch Network. And he said, you know, um, Back in the 90s, they're the same age. And back in the 90s, uh, his his obsession was Kathy Ireland, who was an incredibly beautiful oh, yes, um, yes. Uh, super supermodel. Um, and that was his yeah. obsession. And he said J.D. Vance's obsession was probably Cherry from the Pee Wee Herman show. <laughs> and we all we all remember <laughs> Cherry. You know, he was he was a cool chair. So, so before before we, we we get any further in into how the landscape has changed, um, I wanna I wanna talk about uh, uh, deep fake uh, technology AI. Okay, uh, it's become a thing. Um, Elon Musk, I think, released a horrible deep fake of you know Biden. You know, w- we know what's out there. We know the deep fake is there, and I I wanted to see if uh, I could yes. do it. And and quite frankly, it's it's too expensive, but. Then I discovered that um, that the artificial intelligence program that I do own, uh, that does our all of our Chirons, the Chironomatic 2000 instantaneous graphics generator, um, uh, right. which we've had on on the show now for quite a while, they just got a, a yes. an update, and it turns out there's a there's a deep fake module in the program that I already own, and according to it. It it does incredibly convincing deep fakes. So so I've told the program to basically replace you and me. All right, we're going to replace what, and it's we're going to be replaced. I don't with, know that I like that. Deep, but go with I I know well, it's dangerous because you're going to see how dangerous it is and how that you know you okay. you won't be able to see the difference. All right, when we switch this. And I and I I can't see it right now. I'll only see it later. But when when we switch, and we're going to throughout the show, I I think just randomly switch to an AI deepfake, <laughs> and you won't you won't be able to tell the difference. And that's what's so okay. frightening and so weird. Okay? okay, like and 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 the thing is is like I I was looking like you know the things that the technology can mimic. It can, for instance, it can uh, it it can point. 
uh, it can it can check your watch. Um, uh, it can do wow. dumbbell curls. <clears throat> uh, it can look happy. It can look sad. Um, it, it 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 can it can take a selfie. Okay. All right. Can it uh, can it give me more hair in my head? It could. Yes. Yes. It could. Um, but that then, would be good. But but then you know it could. But but well, what kind of hair would you like? I mean, uh, you know, uh, you know. I mean, you you'd would, have you'd have. Tra- you know, but if you want to really yeah. crazy about this, give me some. Make me blonde. Okay, make you blonde. All right, we I'll could just we see could do how that. Much you uh, got I there, I think. Pal. Yeah, but but you see, then you know. Oh, and and it can point. Oh, that's too obvious. Wave. I understand. Okay. Oh yeah, okay. it's too obvious, yeah, right? Yeah, I get but it. okay, but you say all right. But here's the thing: we could do that. At least I I think the program can do that, and. But then people are going to know that, you know, it's not yeah, you. Right. And, you know, right, it's, it. it's not a deep fake. That'll give it away. But, but you know, we, we could do that. And um, uh, before you, be, uh, you, know, before we can, you do that, uh, do you realize we could be uh, getting rid of ourselves? We could be replaced by that's, the people well, you're about oh, to put on. Oh, absolutely. That's, that's, well, that's the whole point of, of deep fake AI. Uh, well, that's why SAG-AFTRA went on strike. Um, they wanted to digitize you, you know, an actor. This was especially with extras. They yeah. wanted to digitize an actor, pay him, pay him one day's wages, uh, record his voice, okay? And then right. from that point on, they could have a hundred of him, a hundred Garys in a scene yeah. in the background. And he'd never get hired again for the rest of his life. And they're offering uh, movie stars the same thing. They want the digital rights. Uh, that's what the whole right, um, right. Uh, Black that Mirror part of show the called. Um, the, yeah. Yes, it's part of the strike. There's a, a show called Black Mirror. I think it's on Netflix. It's brilliant. It's like the Twilight Zone, and they're opening uh, this year, or maybe it was last year. It was Anne is awful, and it was all about a person whose life is stolen and turned into a series, a streaming series, and it's all the stuff that's actually happening in her life. Almost as it's oh happening, God. and it's very, yeah. very, and it's then it's funny and it's frightening, and then like a month or so later, the whole strike started on this very thing. So yeah, you know, uh, right. uh, digitize, um, digitize Lester Holt or Dan Rather or whoever, and then you know, you, the script is already in the prompter. I mean, I have yeah. a, a part of this part of this program is I have AI uh, text to speech. I can just put in some text and it'll give me a whole range of voices and I can change their, I can make them sound angry. I can make them sound mad. Yeah. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's amazing and it's frightening. It, it, this, um, yeah. I was about to say, this is so impressive, but it's also so very frightening. Yeah. We're both retired mm-hmm. and uh, we have no fear of the boss coming in and saying, uh, you know, we don't need you anymore. But it's still frightening that you can do what you're about to do. Sure, uh, yeah, well, do or, that. or, you do or so well. who knew? Who, yeah, or who knows? It could have already been happening. But like I said, you're right. Just, just no. Just, there's just no way to tell. Um, so, well, you know, so I, I, I keep but, laughing at these stories I tell you about people I meet out in public who swear they've just seen me on television, and I've been retired for twenty plus years. So maybe there's an AI version of Gary Armstrong somewhere. Maybe this could be it right now. <laughs> that could be. Yeah, that's this could be it, you know. Um, so anyway, uh, normally, you know, this show is where we're supposed to tell stuff that happened behind the scenes. And and like I said, both of us have been covering elections since Nixon. Yes. But God damn, every week the whole world changed 14 days ago. Or 12 yeah, days ago. Absolutely. And each day, <clears throat> it gets better. Um, uh, yeah. All right. Here's what, here's what I figured out, uh, or at least it's my opinion. <clears throat> um, ever see the movie Monsters, Inc.? You probably have. It's a Pixar movie. I have Billy seen Crystal, it. John, John Goodman. Oh, my God. You have to watch it. It's, it's, a, it's a Pixar movie, and it's about a world of where monsters live. And they're adorably cute. All sorts of weird pixar monsters and um their power source their power source is children's screams uh they have these doors that they 
put a door on the on the screaming floor, uh, the the energy company where Billy Crystal and John Goodman are are the chief screamers. Right. And this door will open up into a child, an earth child's uh, bedroom at night. And then they will come yeah. through the closet, open through the door in the closet and go, boo. Ah! And the child wakes up and screams and her screams fill up an energy canister. And that's what powers the city. Well, the whole point of the movie right. is they discover at the end of the movie that that if you get children to laugh, and giggle, the energy is 10 times more. In other words, laughing uh. is, is 10 times more more energetic and they, they're, they're, their power, they have to do less. So now Got all it. the monsters who spent their whole lives learning to scare children now have to become comedians right. and get them to laugh. Well, <laughs> we, we know in the media that you know, if it bleeds, it leads. Uh, the, the, the way the news yeah. works is we have to make you angry and afraid. Uh, Fox does it right. by claiming that, you know, all hell is breaking loose. The world is coming to an end. And MSNBC mm -hmm. and all the liberal media does it by going, if this guy gets elected, we're, you know, going to become a fascist dictatorship, right. which is true, but it but it serves the same purpose. We get upset. I mean, Jesus, right. Joy Reid, we, we scare because we care. OK, and that's fine. But in a but yeah, but in a in a political movement, a political campaign, it turns out that you know the, the whole Trump campaign is fear. The whole world is coming to an end. If uh, Tim Waltz is, yeah. is hell on earth, is going to be unleashed. But these two, Harris and they, they brought joy back. People are happy. Two, two weeks ago, all of my friends. It's been said everywhere. You woke up and you felt, well, weird. You felt different. And you go, what is it that I'm feeling? Yeah, and you yeah. go, oh, my God, I, I'm, I'm not hopelessly depressed. I'm actually exactly. optimistic. And then as the week went on, I can be happy. You know, you look at these crowds yeah. and they're happy, you know, and that is so much more powerful than I hate oh, to it say is. it, the, you know, by... Yeah, Biden, who was not wrong, saying, you know, we're at inflection right. point and and democracy is at stake. He's he's correct. But again, yeah. that's doom and gloom versus doom and gloom now versus, hey, yeah. let's have some fun. Let's, you know, I'm oh, telling I you, I, you I know, have it, never. It, it, it's, yeah. um, it's, it's almost an internal thing when you talk about feeling good uh, these days or just before these days. You turn on the set or turn on your computer and you are anticipating more uh, weird news or more negative news about who's running. But on top of Kamala uh, stepping into the into the breach, you wondered who she would choose and how the other side would deal with it. And when Waltz was picked, I this is before I contacted my brothers in Minnesota. I, I had that feeling of, oh, we're not going to hear the same bad jokes tonight. And I was right. I mean, the coverage was, this is who this guy is, blah, 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 blah. And you had a feeling of, oh, thank goodness, it's not more bizarre negative news. So he's already served a purpose. Yep. That's guy. I mean, the more you see of this guy, the more you love him. I mean, this, uh, as, as the former guy used to say, he's right out of central casting. And I like I've the first thing I thought when I saw him, that's that's Jonathan Kent, that's Pa Kent, and then I saw his wife. Yes. I said, oh my God, yes. that's Martha Kent. That it's Ma Superman's parents are. are I you know I just watched the, the old movie the other night and you're dead on. Yeah, you're really dead on. <laughs> if he's farmer, it's like he, he's or alive on and uh, or alive on and yeah. and the fact that they've you know. They figured out the rights kryptonite, which is mockery. They can't take a joke. Yes. Um, <clears throat> Fox News is melting down. The crap. I, I read one comment. He said, we're about to enter tan suit crazy territory. Everybody forgets that during the <sighs> Obama administration, because Obama, yeah. Obama was such a horrible scandal ridden administration. No drama, Obama. Uh, they spent a week 
uh, going crazy because he wore a tan suit. And presidents don't wear <laughs> tan suits. <laughs> what? Yeah, and, and at the time, yeah. we should have gone, well, that's fucking weird. Um, he put his feet up that's... on the Resolute desk. And he took his jacket off in the Oval Office. These, <laughs> and if you go back, I mean, The Daily Show will do supercuts of this. They were demanding that he resign, that he be impeached. And now we're right. getting the same stuff. Waltz, uh, Waltz, what was it that he said? He, he, he waves weird. He's twitchy when he was standing behind Kamala when she was introducing him. And he shakes hands weird. That's not how a man shakes hands. That's not how a man I waves. I that. Really? I also, and I also, he also said, this is the kind of crazy shit they're saying. When a man votes for a woman, he, he becomes a woman. What? What? Uh, uh, what? Yes, what that's what it was. What? He be biologically becomes a woman. What? Really? I mean, holy. Where are they coming that, up? That's with this a shit? bad. And, you know, in in my mind, this is this is the first I'm hearing of it. In my mind, that's a bad way of saying the husband is going to occupy a role as you know the first husband or second husband of the first man or the second man. That's a role that has traditionally been uh, or performed by a woman. If that's what they're trying to say and being glib, it doesn't work. No, no, it none of it works. Work. Um, it, 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 it's, it's stunning. Uh, and his attack on, the, all right, this guy was in the Army National Guard for twenty years, okay, or maybe it was longer, twenty. Yeah. He was a career. He did a, you know, you retire at twenty years. That's how the military works. Yeah. I mean, you can work longer, but at twenty years, you get your pension. And somehow, J.D. Vance is going, oh, he. He never saw combat, so he's not a real right, soldier. Right, I saw that. You know, saw ex that. Yeah. excuse me, weren't, weren't, weren't you in the Marines? I seem to recall we have mentioned that on more than one occasion. And and you didn't see combat. Does that mean that you you are no longer a Marine? It didn't count? I don't know about you, but I would be, I'd be a little upset. Um, all of the, and, oh, and sure. here's the ironic thing. He, he, he was a Marine for four years. He was assigned to a, a journal unit. He wrote he wrote news stories. He was nowhere near combat. And he even mentioned okay. it. And and he's running with a guy who didn't serve at all. Uh, so right. they're they're desperate. They don't know what to do and they can't come back against the mockery. Uh, Mel Brooks had it right. Mocking Hitler. Yes. Because the only way to fight a dictator is to laugh at them. He was mocking Hitler. I don't know if they can do springtime for Trump. Uh, and <laughs> I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think it would somehow work, work the same way. Although, you know, maybe you could rework it. And, and the, the, the chorus girls, instead of having bratwurst and, and pretzels and beer steins on their head, they could have cheeseburgers and, uh, right, you right. know, uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken. I don't know. And you could have Ronald McDonald dancing on his head. Yes, definitely. Ronald <laughs> McDonald, right? I, oh, it's 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 all too strange. You know, you were talking about Obama. We were watching um, uh, an old John Stewart edition of uh, the Daily Show. I think it was uh, Obama had just been elected, and he pops up on Stewart's show. And of course, back then. We were surprised at the notion of a president doing a nighttime talk show, but he was, he was, we would learn as his administration worked on how, how different he was from the other, other people who had occupied the White House. But it was wonderful to A, see him, see him younger, and, and notice uh, how much of a showbiz uh, glibness he has. I mean, he was out doing John Stewart, they were going back and forth. Uh, you would you couldn't see that today. I mean, you would just have uh, angry uh, t retorts going back and forth. But it was terrific to see, quote unquote, the young Barack Obama, and see who we have now. Oh yeah, absolutely. And and it's again the I I just keep coming back how brilliant weird is. 
because there's nothing that they can't do that you can simply right. go, wow, that's uh, that's sort of a weird thing to say, you know, um, <clears throat> you know, just yeah. like a, if you generally want to get a good laugh. Um, you can take almost anything that anybody says randomly and then just at the end of it say, that's what she said. And more often than not, you know, right. you can get a laugh. Uh, <clears throat> but weird is, is, is just brilliant. I am just stunned at how they are not making a single mistake. It's, it's weird, <laughs> you know, and uh, more power to we them. We live in I, weird I, times. I, I hope it, we live in weird times. I mean... Um, you're seeing a movement, an actual movement. Um, crowds, the lines. Uh, there's a picture of um, the same stadium. Uh, the the orange guy gave a rally, and then uh, Harrison Waltz. And Harrison Waltz, you see, the the stadium was packed. It was packed to capacity, twelve thousand, fifteen thousand. I was 000. thinking the same thing. And yeah, the same thing. You could see with with Trump, the whole the whole top bleachers empty. The whole floor right. scattered. And then he's just at a, at a conference claiming that he gets 100,000 people. Uh, he, I have 100,000 people and nobody. The press never reports that because it's not true, you friggin' idiot. I mean. Right, <laughs> right. You just need a video. But to show, yeah. You just, right. But, it, but, but they, keep, they keep going. And um, I don't know how long how long for the world J.D. Vance is. Um, oh, God. I don't know who said it. Uh, the debate. The debate is going to be the, the coach versus the couch. <laughs> which, which is great. Which, which uh, I'm is trying great. to make, still I trying mean, to make sense of the couch sex thing. Talk about oh, weird. Oh, it was a joke. No, it, that's the beauty of it. I know, I know, it was but a it, joke. It, look at how and, it's evolved. And it's, look how it's stuck because everybody believes. Yeah, you know something? I could, I could, I could see that guy nailing a couch, <laughs> you know, or maybe a love seat or, you know, <laughs> a reclining chair. You know, I mean, you know, I mean, can you imagine that guy loose in a <laughs> okay. furniture store Can't after midnight? The, uh, can't you see the furniture store salesperson <laughs> saying, you love this couch, it's it's within your price, and it has all it's those benefits that other people have been talking about. The, this is your couch. It has the, it has the J.D. Van <laughs> seal of approval. I, I, always, I always wondered when I was growing up, uh, whenever we would go visit friends of my parents, they all had mm -hmm. a living room that nobody ever went to because right. that was for special occasions for company. And I guess we weren't important pla enough. Plastic on the uh, plastic covering yeah, the furniture? Plastic plastic covering all the furniture. Um, and now I know why. I, 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 know, I know why. It's, it's, um, it's, just, it's just a marvel to watch uh, that, you know, everything that they throw is, is getting worse and worse. Um, he's not campaigning. Uh, remember, he was complaining all the time when he was in court that he should be out campaigning. I I should be right. out campaigning. Well, he's he's not. He has one event scheduled in Montana, and we know that's that's a swing wow. state if there ever was one. Yeah, well, they you know they they are right. They being um, the Republicans, they're now reaching reaching for what they think are uh, nasty things to say about um, Kamala and company. And it's like we we I think we said the last time it was like uh, two schoolyard buddies just insulting people for the sake of insulting them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Schoolyard they're, bullies. They're trying to focus in on um, the new vice president or vice presidential candidate, and what they're saying is just so really, really silly, so juvenile. Oh, and and they so clearly their their they... staff is stymied. They don't know what to say. They, they throw out insults that everybody else goes, oh, well, that's that's a nice thing to say. But, all right, Megan Kelly, uh, a bunch of them. Um, apparently, Waltz got a law passed that free uh, tampons, menstrual 
women's product mm -hmm. should be available in all of the bathrooms. And they put them in the right. girls' bathrooms and the boys' bathrooms. You know, why not? Whatever, you know. Okay. Um, okay. Which, which, who, who cares? Well, so there, this is to show what a pervert he is. And they're calling him Tampon Tim. To which everybody else went, <laughs> oh, oh, so you're, so you're against uh, allowing teenagers, you know, not to be embarrassed in school? When right. they get their period, right. you know, accidentally. And Tampon Tim, that sounds like a pretty nice guy. Uh, you know, well, thank you. <laughs> they told, um, uh, Vance told that Shapiro, he gave a speech, and Shapiro, he sounded like Obama. And he did. Matter of fact, they joked about it on right. The Daily Show. And he did. He was doing a, he was doing a really good yeah. Obama. Uh, he had the cadence down, and he was saying really good stuff. Uh, and And Shapiro went, so you've you're saying that I sound like one of the greatest orators of our time? Well, thanks. That was really nice. I don't think I deserve it, but but thanks. So <laughs> they just they can't land anything. And uh Right. And, and like I said, I And you're I, being laughed at it off, for that. And you're being laughed at it. And now and you know, Fox is being laughed at and the crazy right is being being laughed at. I mean, <clears throat> they claim they're not weird. Oh, Tampon Tim. Meanwhile, the week before at the Republican convention, half of the delegates were putting bandages, you know, on their ear, except they were they were uh -huh. maxi pads. They were they were menstrual pro they were tampons. Oh, God. Like, you know, so so really? you put them on your ear. Okay, fine. I uh, it, anyway, uh, I've always said, no matter how weird you think it is, it's going to get weirder. Oh, you know, before before we part company, um, one of your one of your fans who is one of uh, Maryland's uh, <laughs> Maryland's people. I didn't mean that 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 way. Yeah, yeah. but uh, I think she's the one you've been referring to as uh, uh, supporting, being very supportive of our campaign. Oh, yeah for uh, the White yes. House, and uh, there, are more, there are more and more people want us. Yes, yes, which means that so. at some point we'll have to replace ourselves uh, with, with somebody else. Here's the weird thing. Yeah, everybody says that Waltz, he looks like an old man. He's the same age as Kamala Harris. He's 59, going right. on 60. They're the same, you know. George Clooney and Brad Pitt are older than Kamala Harris yes. and Tim Walt. So I think I think the age thing is 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 over with. So anyway, we, we wasted another hour and I, I I hope that the people at home, you know, could figure out what's AI and what's not. Uh we'll we'll see. Um I I think it's you know, I think maybe if they really look closely they can tell, but but you know, probably not. So, you know, this is we will we have to be aware of this. So let's get to the plugs. Okay. Uh Maryland's blog serendipity seeking intelligent life on earth half hour radio show uh for the best uh in a, a half hour radio show of voice games audio theater best in audio comedy and drama my sister <laughs> podcast i've been doing this too long my sister podcast get off my lawn where we talk about life the universe and everything and uh and another show i really think you should pay attention to it's called it's called um, uh, Between Americans, and it's a discussion from um, 1941 that's been that's been redone. It's on our on our YouTube channel, so check it out. Uh, and uh, so anyway, um, this is the uh, the deep fake, or maybe not, saying um, okay. see ya.